All right, well, hi again, hi again everybody. We are back. Uh, great American Craft Beers with Kyle. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. For final review of the night as we push on a Black Friday here. Closing in on midnight. Great, great holiday. Great family, great friends, great food. Uh, not so much good football in the NFL. Blowouts. Stupid games. Really, the NFL is just watered down. Uh, you know, I watched college football in the Egg Bowl uh, tonight over that joke of an NFL game. But anyway, we're back here tonight to close it up with a Christmas sale from what I think is one of the most overhyped breweries in the country. I'm just not a huge fan of these guys, but I did get this recommended by several friends that said it's really good. This is the Breckenridge Brewing Company. It's their Christmas sale. Here it is. About a, they're actually out of Littleton, Colorado. Uh, I always thought this was a Breckenridge, Colorado town. It says Littleton, Colorado on this bottle. It's a Christmas sale since 1993. It's a, it says multi full-bodied winter warmer. 7.1% uh, alcohol by volume. 7.1. Normal amount. 7%. Uh, uh, not much on the bottle. It says Breckenridge Brewery Fine Colorado Ales. It's just on the website. Nothing too particular about the bottle. I do like the mountain top here with the winter wreath. You know, quick thing about Breckenridge. I don't know if you have. I think I reviewed uh, one of their beers. And it was that Nitro Dream Circle, which might have been the worst beer they ever had in my life. Yeah, three or four years ago, I was big into Breckenridge. You see, we look up at these guys, and then you had a pint night, and the rep saw all these good beers in, and then. I try, and Vanilla Porter I do like, but I tried three or four more of their beers. I'm like, you know what, this is not, for me, nothing crazy. Uh, I respect them. Uh, just, uh, I think they're just overhyped. Vanilla Porter's the only one I really like. Avalanche Amber is okay, but the rest of the stuff is just not, does not stack up for me personally. So, uh, but I did have a couple of buddies, uh, what was his name? Cameron Pritchard mentioned this to me. He said he had a bottle of this and said this is really good this year. He said it's actually awesome. And it's actually getting some good reviews on Untapped, so... Let's go ahead and get it to pour and see how it tastes. I'm hoping for good things. Here's our Breckenridge uh, bottle cap there. You know, I hope they taste pretty good. I mean, they're doing some good things in Colorado. That's Colorado Fine Ale. So, go ahead and get a pour. I do have some Breckenridge glassware at my place, but with the Army Israel we'll going to went to steady as she goes on that one. Uh, here we go. Get a pour. Uh, Christmas sale 7.1. Looking a lot, a little bit lighter than most. Yeah, it is. Much lighter than most here. Not a bad pour. It's kind of dark, I guess. There's the there's the pour. Some lovely carbonation there. Nice, nice amount of carbonation there. Uh, this does look a little bit lighter than a Great Lakes Christmas or even the Holly Jolly from Fatheads on this particular pour. Now I'm not getting much in the way of an aroma now. You know, this is actually reasonably priced, you know, and I had, you know, being that's not great legs or fat, I think a six pack of this breakfast is just nine bucks. You know, and somebody said, oh, for a value, you can't beat that. It's seven percent alcohol, nine bucks, but how good is the quality going to be? You know, like I said, for me, you know, the only Breckenridge beer that I really liked has been the Vanilla Porter. Other than that, it's just been my average, I mean, the oatmeal stout's average. Um... You just have not done a whole lot. So, quick aroma here. Uh, deep roasted malts. And that's where we're getting in the bottle. It says roasted malts. Uh, it says malt, malty full body winter warmer. Uh, slight, slight ginger maybe. Some cinnamon. But without further ado, let's thank the brewers of Breaking Ridge. They're trying hard. and We'll give them a shot and see what it's all about. And again, hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving and Black Friday. And looking forward to a Michigan win Saturday. Cheers. I just don't understand where it, I'm not here to knock anybody because I you know I get where is the flavor in any of their beers I mean I really I don't want to knock any there is no I mean this is just a almost like a brown ale a watered down brown ale uh definitely get some roasted malts some deep roasted malts in this. Deep roasted malts, but that is nothing. To me, that's nothing like a Christmas ale. 
Getting no cinnamon, no ginger, no honey, no nutmeg. I mean, maybe a, it's almost like a brown ale with a hint of ginger at the end of that, maybe, perhaps. But I just don't. Again, just another dud from Breckenridge. I, again, I'm not here to knock anybody. I don't want to. That's not, not the point. That's not, I'm not trying to be that guy. But I don't know. I just, this isn't a Christmas ale. But I, I, uh, this would be more like a, a brown ale to me. Almost like a brown ale with a hint of spice, but I don't know. I'm gonna say it's a sea beer. I just, I just can't do it. I mean, I'm just not. And I, you know, it's better than Bud Light or Merlite. It's really a craft beer. I mean, there is some lacing on there. Uh, uh, head's gone. There is some love in the lacing, so I'll say that, but just not for me. I mean, I don't know how you said this is a Christmas ale. It's not, not a smooth finish. That's kind of. I said a brown ale with a hint of, just not for me. So, C plus beer, folks. That's going to do it. Uh, another dud uh, for Breckenridge. Uh, it's going to do it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Black Friday. Everybody be safe out there getting your deals and getting out of your food comas. But uh, cheers, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye.